Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to get into the Capacities tablet app that they just released for the Believers tier. So if you're a believer on the Capacity plan and you can get access to this application. Now just to give a sneak peek to those who don't have access to it, we can see here that right off the bat there, there's one main change to the application and then there's another thing that's missing that I'll, I'll show that is on the other apps that was not included in the initial release of this app. The first thing that you have here on this app that's noticeable is you have this bar on the left hand side that has uh, that gives you access to your objects, your journal, to the AI, to search, to be able to add things and so on and so forth. Now this bar for me right off the bat I don't see why it's necessary just because if I open up the objects pane here I would expect that the pane here would be the thing that you you know introduce into the application just like it is on the desktop and um, and on the web and then you're just able to collapse and expand this this particular pane similar to what you can do here on the right hand side so if we go ahead and get out of that and we come to the right hand side here we can collapse and expand this right hand pane this is something that I'm not sure why they did not include it the same way over here on the tablet app but um, it's, yeah it is a, a change that they've made here now these buttons is you you will see this on the mobile phone where they do have these buttons at the bottom on the bottom row but because I have enough real estate here on a tablet device I think that this bar is not necessary um, at least they should give the option to be able to pin this pane here so it doesn't so if I want it open and I don't want to have to take two clicks every time to get to an object I can easily access this this pane by having it pinned here because once this pin this um, pane is open you cannot edit any of your your objects you have to basically have that pane close and then you can come into your object and then you can make edits to it but when it's open you cannot make any edits so it is one thing that just right out of the gate I noticed and that I'm not really liking about the application right out of the gate. Everything else seems to be similar to what you get on the desktop and on mobile. And you do get pretty much all of the features that you would, you would expect to get. The one thing that I did notice is missing. So if I come into the books objects, we can see all of the books here. If I click into one of these um, objects here, I get this side pane on the side and it has information that you know you typically expect to have. If I open up a certain object too, you also get that side pane where you can see properties. If you have the if you don't have the properties in line, they can show in another pane here. I'll click on another one to show that. But what I do not see is the actual map. So you I have not been able to find access to the map view where you could start seeing uh, your network and your connections between other um, objects within your environment here. So you can come up here, you can pin things, you can close and open that right hand pane and then you get access to some other things here like um, being able to share, you can use a template here, you can get to your object settings, it shows import export copy and duplicate and also delete here so I haven't um, actually tested out any of these um, these actual features yet but I assume they would work similar to the way they do on the web or on the desktop so let's go into another object here so like if I go into a note let's click on a note here and just to show that you do get that properties pane I can click on there and then I can come in here and I can add a property to this particular note um, where it's applicable. So right out of the gate the changes 
or things that are missing is the map and then the the next notable notable change is going to be that bar here on the left hand side where you can come in here you can add objects you can do search you can do the ai chat here if you have that enabled and if you're on the pro plan now this this is another i think um, area of improvement if you're on the desktop or on the web this will typically open up in the right hand side pane next to your object right now it takes up the full screen so again i have plenty of real estate here on the tablet device i would expect this to open in a side pane next to the object so that i'm seeing more stuff on my screen that i can interact with and i can work with right now if i come into here and i actually uh, access something or ask the AI chat something and it gives me back a response I still have to kind of go back and forth here where I, I don't see my other um, my other objects if I need to have those as references so I can come in here let me close that I can open up the journal we saw that open you get access to your month week and day views there you can click on the today you can go back and forth in the timeline there um, and you get your calendar on this side you can close this if you want and if you want to go full screen here they also should have that set up there and if i open this up here it gives me the outline for this particular um, uh, journal daily note similar to what you would if you had an object open and you still do not get again that map does not show available you can click on the objects button here and it opens up this pane you cannot lock it in place so you have to just pick an object and then start working on those objects like uh, like in this particular case here and then at the bottom of this right bar or left hand bar you get the trash you get the settings that you can get to the three dots will open up the uh, a pane where you can get to your academy the guide feedback you can change between light and dark mode here as well so if i go ahead and click on the light mode there we can see how bright that is and it is very bright i'm not sure if um, I might need to compare this to the desktop but you can see on the light mode things seem to be a little bit more washed out let me see if I click out of there okay so once you click out then things do clear up again so that's not too bad I still prefer the dark mode just because it's less harsh on the eyes so and things are a little bit I'm clicking on things and sometimes I'm clicking twice because it's not reacting as fast as I would expect it to so let me try that one more time if I click on there yeah you have to wait a couple seconds before it actually does what it's supposed to do here so I'm going to click and then it changes so there's a little bit of a delay there in the um, the execution of the uh, the clicks that I'm performing on there let's go into one of the other areas here um, and at the bottom where you have the the light bulb if I click on that you get the ability to see your spaces you get to create a space and then you get the ability to get to your space settings outside of that if you're in your objects area you still get access to be able to do filters you can actually do your sorting um, you can get access to the different views so if you want to change it to the uh, the list view let's see if we can change it here and still even now I'm getting that delay in the app um, so like I'm going to click and then it change over so you can see from the time I say click and you kind of hear the click it takes a little while before it makes that change so there is a little bit of a delay going on here where 
I assume they'll they'll have to do some optimization uh, based off of feedback. Then we have, let me see what these three dots at the top are for. Uh, okay, you get to open, create templates, create a query, you can do your new collection from here, object settings, and deleting ob the object itself. So you do get access to basically everything that you would have on the desktop other than the map. So the map is not available here, at least I have not seen it. So yeah, that's something that they will probably bring later on in the next iteration or release of this app. And then you have this left bar that is stuck there and you don't get the ability to kind of pin the this object pane here. So just some of my feedback here that I will definitely be leaving comments to to capacities and their dev team. Hopefully that you know it will help improve this and hopefully others are feeling the same way and have some of the same feedback as I do about this particular um, part of the application in these areas where they you know probably could improve the user experience for everyone all right so that's going to be it for this video if you like the content on this channel don't forget to like and subscribe and until the next time have a nice day